I know I'm really wobbly right now because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of using like a, a selfie stick and it's like jittery. But, you know, I know I can't use my tripod because I have this beautiful masterpiece now. And it's amazing. Um, it helps me work way faster. But, so now on, all my tutorials are going to be on this machine. So if you don't have a sewing machine, get one. <laughs> So with this being a low quality video as it is, um, let's get started with a tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to make a hand paw. And wait a minute, I'll, I'll show you. Now to be like completely honest, I'm not the best at making hand paws. I don't even know how to make puffy hand paws. I've never, I've never tried. I really want to, but I just don't have the time. I could just make puffy hand... This is two fingers. Puffy hand paws with the... The padding where the, the padding's puffy that's pretty straightforward it's just a straight stitch all along the edges i didn't want to change out to black thread because i'm really lazy so you you can't see it you, you can't see it this is a four finger paw pad or paw four finger paw you can do five finger obviously it's not that big of a deal um so yeah i'm just gonna teach you how to make one of these now, what you're going to want to do, obviously, is build um, a pattern, and this can be any design you want to. It's, there's, the triangle doesn't mean anything. This is actually going to have a Triforce on the hand, so I cut out the Triforce pattern. But obviously, yeah, you're just going to draw the shape of your paw, and this is the thumb. Put two fingers going here, your index, or not your index, your ring finger and your pinky. So, all you have to do is just label right and left, whatever. Trace this onto some fabric. You're going to want to trace this four times. Two, in, two on the right side and two on the left side. And same thing with this, you're going to want to trace two patterns on the left side, two patterns on the right side. So you have both left and right cutouts. And your cutouts should look not exactly like this. This is shaved, but it should look like this. Once it's cut out, it's kind of just a mess. And um, you could just go ahead and brush it and shave it. And it should look just... Get out of my way. And it should look just like this. On the back, it's clean, obviously. It's because, yeah. And then shaved the fur direction is always going to be going up with an animal the fur goes to the fingertips and i see a lot of people who have it going the opposite way and um that's not how it works sorry but <laughs> see I'm lining the palm up with this and you're going to want to make marks with a pen or sharpie whatever sharpie works best mark what corners these are both going to stop with a stitch at that includes like between each finger too so I will cut to the part where I have both of them sewed on, even the design, and I'll show you how to close it all up and finish it. They're that easy. Hand stitching, oh my god, hand stitching hand paws are like a huge pain and I hate it, but now I love making them because they're so easy. Also, I have this really cute deer tail and I don't know what to do with it. Does, does anyone want it? Like, look at it. It's a bouncy one. I see it has elastic. Maybe I'll make a giveaway out of this. I don't know. I think I probably will. <sighs> cool. See you later. This suit, that's how that's how it's gonna sound. 
I never really got into doing a voice for my character. I mean, a lot of people do whenever I go to cons and stuff. They, like, do a voice and it's, it, it's kind of cringy. I don't know why. Probably because, well, I mean, I don't think they're the, the people that I met who had voices. I don't think they portrayed the voice very well. Like, you know how, um, like, if you, if you hear, like, a little kid playing with, like, dolls or something and they try to, like, change the voices to different dolls and it just sounds... It, that it, it sounded exactly like that. Like, it sounded terrible. Like, yours sounds really good. It sounds like an actual character portrayed, and it, the, the way they were sounding was like, Hi, my name is... I forgot what their name was. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It, did you guys, like, ever learn about the Alamo? Well, Houston's famous for the space program, and then... <gasps> oh my god, the safety pin is, like, stuck. Don't break my sewing machine. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna cry. No, it came out. <laughs> okay, I got it out. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to, like, break the needle and then I have to re-thread everything. Nah, everything's fine. <laughs> if I post this video, like, watch me get featured again. Like, I get featured, like, out of the most useless posts. Like, actually, some posts that I have, I actually work really hard to put together and they don't get noticed. And then the ones that do get featured, it's like, I didn't even work that hard to make them. It's like, really? Especially the, the, not the last one, but the one before that, where it was, like, just giving tips about workspace. And it was like, what? Everyone knows these tips. If you don't know them, then, like, what? It was dumb. I didn't even, whatever, I, I just, just, I just should be grateful. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll show you a picture in a minute. If I still have a picture of him, I'm not completely sure if I even do. Yeah, it was a piece of crap though. I hated it. Because obviously it was my first one, so... Yeah, I had it on like supersonic speed, so it was getting loud. Yeah. Oh hey, wow, wow! Would you look at that? I'm in I'm in different clothes because I got to editing my video and then I realized I have no closure or showing you how I finished this. They're they're pretty they're pretty basic. Yeah, it has the Triforce the Triforce uh, design on it because that's what he wanted and here's what the head looks like uh, he looks like this I'm not gonna put him on because my face has makeup on it and it's super oily at the moment cuz just I've had the, my makeup on for a long time now and he, he look he's just he's super cute I'm just gonna act like I'm wearing him and I'm gonna put the paws like all over his face Moop. Moop. Moop, 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 moop. I'm kind of sad that he has to go, but this is what he looks like, like his neck, he has like tiger markings, he's like a tiger doggo, like he's a wolf, but with tiger markings, I don't know how many times I've explained that in my past videos, but yeah, he's he's done, he's he's perfect, so sketch your, your, your child's on the way. I think when I hit 2,000 followers on Furry Amino, I'm actually going to give this away. I, I'm, I'm not going to use it. I don't wear tails out in public, and I don't have any sort of costume that will go with this. And it's like a reddish-orange fur. It is an orange fur, but it's like a natural-looking orange fur. Like, it looks like it would actually be on an animal, like a fox or a maned wolf. And this is, this is all luxury shag, so it's going to keep straight and fluffy like this. 
So yeah, 2,000 followers on my furry amino. It's coming up pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this tail. Anyone want it? Come follow me. You'll see the post soon enough. Alright, cool. Bye.